efficiency that's the access assessment on public and private sector go to question three he said which one of the following is most likely to cause a shift in the left to the left of the supply curve a shift to the left of the supply curve means there's a reduction in the quantity supply of a product so increase Increase indirect taxes will increase the cost of production, and prices will not be able to be increased. Then it will shift the supply curve left on. Cost reduction. Cost reduction will increase supply. Increased subsidy will reduce the cost of production, which will also increase supply, shift the supply curve to the right. Decreased advertisement. This will affect demand. So the answer is A. Question B. Which one of the following best describes an income elasticity of demand? Income of, of 2.6. First, what is income elasticity of demand? Income elasticity of demand is the degree of responsiveness between the quantity demanded of a product as a result of a change in the level of income. So here, inferior goods have negative uh, YED, so it is not A. Unit 3 demand changes, that, the unit 3 demand means that demand changes proportionally to income, and it's always 1. For luxury, it has a positive YED and it's greater than 1, so the answer is luxury. And for inelastic, it is less than 1, so the answer is C. So we'll go to question C. They said, in this box, draw a production possibility front here for a firm that can produce diaries and or calendars. On your PPF, draw what would happen if production of calendars increased. So look at a PPF, an increase in the production of calendar will reduce the production of diaries. Therefore, it means because there's always going to be an opportunity cost. So if we are increasing the, the production of cal calendars, it means we have to reduce the production of diaries. That's what the PPF is. And for a PPF, it's a graph which shows the combination of goods, like calendars and diaries, that can be produced in a given economy if all resources are fully employed. We go to question D. It said, each year the Turkish government raised the national monthly minimum wage. It increased from 2020. 2020 lira in 2018 to 2558 lira in 2019. First, what is mean? Why, with reference to the data above and your knowledge of economics, analyze why the Turkish government might want to increase the minimum wage every year. So, first, what is minimum wage? Minimum wage is the lowest wage that can be paid in a country such as Turkey. According to the case study, the Turkish government increased the minimum wage rate by 538. Libyan, uh, 538 Turkish lira because 2558 minus 220, 2020 will give us 538 between 2018 and 2019. This means this means the income of the lowest paid workers in Turkey will increase. Increasing the minimum wage means the living standards of low income earners in Turkey will also improve. As this also implies that government spending on support for low income earners would reduce, as government will be able to shift the responsibility to employers. That's the impact. We go to E. There's a case study that said, with the reference to the data above and your knowledge of economics, assess whether Istanbul New Airport is likely to benefit from internal economies of scale. First, what is internal economies of scale? Internal economies of scale is a reduction in the average cost of production as the firm is expanding like the airport. So examples of internal economies of scale are, we have purchasing economies of scale, we have technical economies of scale, we have financial economies of scale, we have risk bearing, we have managerial economies of scale, and so on. For purchasing economies of scale, as the new airport will be handling around 200 million people based on the case study, it will need to buy seating for waiting areas in, in very large quantities, as this may bring about discount, that is purchasing economies of scale. Then we have technical economies of scale. The cost of installing equipment can be divided between the six runways, which will be installed which is also technical or financial economies of scale. Then, I, I wrote the financial economies of scale, the airports may be attractive to financial institutions who might be willing to give them loans to rapidly conclude the building of the building or uh, the construction of the airport at lower rate interest as the, uh, as the airport will be considered as a low risk. So it, financial business, financial institutions may be able to give them loans and that's financial economies of scale. However, if the airport becomes too big, or too large, it might suffer from these economies of scale, such as a communication problem, which may lead to a rise in the average cost of production. But these days, the technical or, or communication problem might be solved with ICT, information communication technology. That ends question three. So we'll go to question four. For question four, they said we have the financial data for a firm selling a selection of products which is shown. 
we have the price, the quantity sold, the total revenue, and PED. They said calculate the total revenue for the product that has a price elasticity of demand, which is elastic. So for elastic, it means uh, there's a significant change in the quantity of demand as a result of the change in price, and it should, be, it should be greater than one. For inelastic, it means there's no significant change in the quantity of demand as a result of a change in price, and it should be less than one. So here we have elastic to be less than, in greater than one as 1.46. So the total revenue there is price multiplied by quantity sold. So TR for a PED with price elastic is $1,650 multiplied by 20, which is 33000 Then we have question B. We have the case study there. Uh, we told to read. They said, with reference to the data above and your knowledge of economics, analyze how increased ability to move to different types of employment might be affect supply of labor. First, what is supply of labor? Supply of labor is the total number of workers who are making themselves available for a job at a given wage rate. So Tony here in the case study, training to become an art, art teacher is considered as occupational mobility of labor because he's able to switch from one job to another. Another form of occupational mobility is hire as a banker that becomes a teacher. That's occupational mobility of labor too. So the supply of labor is likely to increase if it is easier for workers to switch from one career to another. This means they are able to move from a low paying industry to a higher paying industry. This scheme is an opportunity for workers to have the skills needed to switch from one employment to another, to have mobility of labor. Then we have the last question. With the reference to the data above and your knowledge of economics, evaluate the possible effects of an increased of an increase of an increase in the use of technology on productivity in restaurants. First, what is productivity? Productivity is the measurement of output against input. So the use of technology such as tablets, tablets will allow restaurants to replace, which means restaurants can replace waiters with tablets. So this is an attempt to be more efficient. This allows restaurants to take orders from customers faster at an, and at a lower at a lower cost, because the tablet will be cheaper to run than labor. This may increase the productivity of restaurants as they may be able to increase output and more dinner, dinners. This may encourage restaurants to invest more in technology to increase productivity in the, in the future. However, the problem about technology is that the initial setup of technology could be higher, which means higher cost of production in the short term, in the short run. And during the setup, labor might also needed to initiate the application, you, the application on the tablet, tablet, which may also increase the cost of production. Mistakes can be made through the tablet, which means that wrong orders may be served by restaurants. This could lead to lower productivity and inefficiency. Lastly, in the long run, where there would be there would have been flexibility in the, the use of technology, this may lead to higher productivity. So that ends paper one of May June 2020. Thank you.